Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's Eddie Hill, the Pennsylvanian reviewer in good old White Oak, PA. Yep. And we are, it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing a simple Transformers figure. And this is one of the most iconic Transformers ever, and this is Transformer Cyberverse Megatron, and this is one version of the One Step, this is the first version One Step Megatron. I did not have this in my collection, but when I found this at Goodwill Outlet Loose, I was glad to add it to my Decepticon collection, but we're going to get down to comparison after we look at the vehicle mode. It rolls like rolling things should. Now we're going to bring in some other one steps to compare it to. Here we have Cyberverse One Step Autobot Jazz. And that's the first Autobot comparison. I only have Autobot One Step Changers. Next is One Step Changer Autobot Wheeljack. Because Wheeljack is a part of Transformer Cyberverse. Why wouldn't I show him off? And last but not least, Repugnus. Because he showed up to help Bumblebee on Cybertron. And that's all there is to say for Repugnus. Now let's get down to Transformation. We're going to stand this up like so. This... To show you how the one step changer transforms, this this uh, piece of his fusion cannon acts as the mechanism that transforms him automatically. So once I hit the button, Megatron is transformed. And look at all Megatron-y. I do have one nitpick about this old school figure. I wish the fusion cannon could have been on his arm. But that isn't a problem with the new, with the previous, with the next generation of One Step Changer, Megatron. The cannon is actually able to be on his arm. But for what it is, it's not a bad looking Cyberverse Megatron. The paint and sculpting is really good. The arms go out that far due to their hinge joint. No bend at the knee or elbows. It's a one-step changer. They don't do much. Now, for comparison, here is Cyberverse One-Step Megatron with Scout Class Megatron. And they both have gimmicks. <laughs> like I said, this is just a one-step gimmick figure. Next comparison, here we have the original... First edition Cyberverse Megatron with the one fusion cannon. I don't have the one where he has a double-barreled fusion cannon. But that's the first comparison. The second comparison. Sorry if I have to correct myself. Second comparison. Oh, man. My autism is really getting the better of me in this. My head is really getting confused. But next we have the Transformers. Build-A-Figure Cyberverse... Megatron. And still, this is the best Megatron compared to this one. It's, it's just that good. But this is not a bad one-step gimmick figure. I am so glad I added this to my Transformers collection. It looks awesome. And it is really well sculpted and really well painted for a one-step changer. Sure, there's hollow bits. But otherwise, I just love this Megatron. Hands down, it is my favorite one-step changer Megatron. If you like this review, make sure to like, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on, and rock on, and rock out. YouTube land.